Welcome to another MRE field review, and today I'm doing an IRP. This is the menu number five. Now, before I get into this and tear into this, this is going to be a lot of talking. There's going to be a lot of talking in this video, and the reason is because I'm going to try to pass on information. Of course, everybody knows the reason I do these field reviews is uh, so people can actually see what it's like to eat these in the field with military gear on. Now, this is going to be treated a little bit differently because this uh, MRE, I guess you could say it is an MRE, it's ready to eat. Uh, you don't need to heat it up, though it does have a heater as you'll see, but generally speaking the Russians treat things a little bit differently in warfare. Yeah, they'll bring food to the front lines and stuff like that if they do have a front line, but generally speaking they're not going to break out the meals unless they legitimately have time and they're in a good perimeter, whereas I think of it as in a very secure patrol base or something like that. So uh, that's what we're going to simulate because I'm going to dress down my gear and everything and we're going to go ahead and open this up and check it out. So see you soon. Okay, so I'm down at my range so you can tell with all the brass and the uh, shotgun shells everywhere. So I'm going to open this up. I'm pretty sure that this is the top here. So. I'm going to try to open this up as neatly as possible. Usually when I see pictures of these rations getting used, they're opened up like this. So let's see if I can actually open this up with minimal damage. Usually people are just shredding these things. And I'm trying to preserve it as best as possible. And it looks like I succeeded for the most part. So there we go. A little finger hole to pull it out. Now I don't think these things were meant to be frozen, but as you saw I have my beanie on because it is actually like freezing temperatures outside, it's like 20 degrees, so it's not exactly the most comfortable out here, so okay, just relieve it there. Alright, so nothing else in here. I'm going to use this as a trash can. now. This is not exactly the most tactical stuff. There's nothing really subdued about all this. So, <clears throat> if you'll pardon me, that's what we're going to mostly be talking about is its tactical suitability. Now, I do want to heat up some food, so I'm going to create a space here that I can safely heat up food from. So, yeah. I want to be able to get this thing going. So, first off, I've got my spoons here and... I'll just set that on my gear. I'm not going to need all of those. So then we got 10 of something here. Jevatel, Jevatel Naya, Naya, Jevatel Naya. And then of course the crackers. You have different crackers here. I'm guessing whole grain and sweet. So they like to supplement a lot of their food with bread. There's a lot of carbs in this. There's about, uh, there's just under five, 5,000 calories, and I'm guessing that's mostly assuming that they might not get constant logistics as well. So here you have some apple and cherry right here. So a little bit of drink mix, that's nice. But looks like have some other berries here. I think this is grape. So we'll see. So this is minced meat. It's farge. That's minced meat. And then you have pasta, which is pate. It's a gentle pate or soft pate, I guess you could say. So that stuff you can eat. You can eat cold. No big deal. I guess we'll figure this stuff out. It's uh, probably a little bit of uh, stuff that you put on bread. Right? Some kind of spread. <clears throat> Probably not something you necessarily heat up. Ah, uh, sear. So we got some cheese, some spreadable cheese. And this is a lot. That's uh, Sahar, so it's sugar. So I don't really add sugar to a lot of stuff. And uh, US MREs, instead of using like carbs and fats and stuff, they'll just put a lot of sugar and stuff. This should be interesting. Got the film. So. Yeah, so it'll it'll be like a like a potatoes and something else, something with potatoes. So yeah. Oh, so it's goulash. My bad, goulash. Well, good job. This is the multivitamin tab. So here it is. And I think these are water purification tabs. So I'm not gonna really need those. But pepper I will use. And 
multivitamin. I'll use that a little bit later. And then, so officer brand chocolate bar, and it's already a little bit broken. That's the one thing you see with these rations a lot is they do get broken and uh, or they'll spill out or whatever. These things do typically get crushed. So typically they wanted pretty much the same as what America wanted as far as like something that's shelf stable and easy to deal with and easy to eat, uh, heated or not. But usually they'll heat their meals uh, and that's a pretty common thing in Russia, but they, they're not really crush proof. So it's not like the American ones where they're being dropped by huge pallets and they gotta be crush proof for the most part. I guess we'll see what it is when we open it all up. So, yeah. Koritsia. Koritsia. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not really sure which one I want to heat up first. I think I want to get, get this heated up. But this has got something else in it. So, it, this is a... This is a meal, so I'm guessing these two are meals. I'll just have to open them up and see. But also, Gavyadina, so there's another, there's another uh, thing, so a uh, sword. Not quite sure which one is the fat, but I'm gonna have to open these up and see. But this is 24 hours worth of food, so. I, I apologize, but I don't think I'm going to end up eating all of this, but we've got some coffee here. Yep, some coffee. And then some tea bags, I'm guessing. So two tea bags and a coffee. So this would be something. This is salt. So sole. So you got a spoon and a knife, or you got spoons and a knife. I guess you'll reuse the knife. So, being in the field, having something like this, this is kind of handy, but it gets folded one way, these get folded one way, so I'm going to guess that the tablet is actually supposed to go in here, and this gets stuck into the ground however you can. Okay, so I'm just going to light this up and put it right on top. Well, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. These things are a real pain in the butt, I can tell you that much. And I just broke it, but... I think it lit. Can't really tell. But I mean, they light pretty easily, but... So it's not exactly perfectly balanced, but you basically might need the whole match, but okay, I think it is lit because this thing is stinking to high heaven. That's not really good in a tactical environment to have something that smells like that. Okay, so just, well, I'm going to definitely want to heat this up. So what I've seen is people do recommend that you open these up, that way you don't like create like a... A miniature bomb or whatever. I'm gonna try to flatten this out that way it's somewhat handleable when it's time to pull it off. This is a lot of work actually just for eating. I mean you can eat these cold but I don't think they're really all that appetizing. Oh yeah and they're very smelly in a good way. Smelly in a good way. Okay so now we got the cheese. I want to see what these uh, crackers are like. So we got drink mix here. I'll just put these back. And you've got three little tabs, so for each meal you can beat these up. So I'm guessing each one of these would be considered a meal. Oh yeah, this thing stinks. Yeah, the uh, the fuel tab really does stink. See how these crackers are on their own. These are the blue ones, so I'm guessing these are the whole grain. Okay, that's pretty dry. Definitely a whole grain, but yeah. I've heard good things about the cheese, and that it it's like real cheese. It's not like USMRE cheese where it's got so many different preservatives and things in it. Yeah, I'll still eat that. Who cares? Cheese doesn't really have much of a smell, but the taste isn't really there. The taste is kind of mild, like a 
like the spreadable cheese you get in a can, but it's so mild. It's nothing in comparison. We usually will add, you know, flavors to it, but you're going to eat it to eat cheese. And to get that spreadable cheese texture on it, and I literally have dirt and probably some lead in here from all the brass on the ground. But it's really not all that great. Like, it's not going to blow you away. It's not like... It's pretty flavorless compared to, like, the U.S. MREs or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's burning pretty well. So, there's not going to be any confusion about that. Okay. So, I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh. This is just applesauce. And it kind of had a little explosion. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I'll like this. Well, that went pretty fast. Well, that's the first bit of trash. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> so, ikra. And we're getting leaves falling. So, ikra. Let's see what we got. Ease of a chin. So this stuff is boiling, whatever is inside of here. Oh. Oh, it's like a like a like a vodka sauce or whatever. Yeah, this is basically just a vodka sauce. Not bad at all. I'm going to take an early, wow, and I totally failed at that, but I'm going to take an early scoop while this is still heating up and try not to fling my food away. Oh, that's big chunks of potato. What I'm noticing already is that with Russian meals, it seems like everything's more legitimate. It's actual real food that's put together in real meals. But it does stink. Like, it will have a smell. Unlike this uh, cheese, I mean, most of this stuff is legit food. It's not like USMREs where it's actually, you know, kind of disappointing. Now I'm thinking this would be more of an additive um, to something. That, that would probably go good being put inside of one of these little meals as kind of a helper. Or you could just spread it on a cracker, and I think that's actually all it is, is like a vegetable spread. So. These crackers, I would rather have these crackers than the USMRE crackers that just shatter. I'm going to see what these white ones are all about. Okay. They're definitely more brittle. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to think. These crackers are better or not. I'm just opening this up to kind of be able to <clears throat> cook it a little better, I think, and be able to actually stir it up. But yeah, you got a big chunk of meat here in the middle. But you can eat this as is. You can eat it while it's still cold. You don't need to heat it up, apparently. Mmm. very pleasant but the one thing you do see with a lot of Russian MREs is they will they use a lot of fat and they use a lot of pastas and breads and th all these are your bread ration they they'll substitute it uh, so in US MREs you'll you will basically not be able to find anything that doesn't have sugar in it but everything is tactically sound you just open up a packet and here I am trying to figure out a good combination for all this stuff and what's what. I mean, there's a lot of little things to go through. Like this jam right here. I guess I'll see what's up with this jam. It looks like it has a quick tear notch here on the side. Okay. This jam, it's a little bit odd because it's a little bit tough. I don't know if that's the temperature or whatever. It's not too loaded with sugar, but it, it is 
kind of interesting. I mean, it does have sugar in it because it's like an apple puree, I'm guessing. But I think that this is like meant to go on crackers or whatever, just like the U.S. MREs, how you'll get a jam and a peanut butter. Or you'll get a cheese. It's either or. I will say, adding the crunch of the uh, these lighter crackers actually does bring out the flavor a bit more. Instead of just eating it straight up. I mean, it's a pretty small packet. It's not all that much. But it is actually pretty satisfying. And it does stay together a lot better. It doesn't run like water like the U.S. gyms and stuff. So this, I would actually save this for later. Everything that I've heard, this is pretty high quality stuff. And it's broken around here. So I'll just take it out for the sake of the video and see what it's like. So yeah, it's, it's slightly oxidated. I mean, it's just extruded out chocolate into a pattern. It tastes exactly like a Hershey's bar. Well, kind of like a dark, like those little snack dark Hershey's. Somewhere in the middle of uh, a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate. So, more leaning towards the dark chocolate side. Just checking on the tab. This field tab stinks, by the way. Like, you can actually taste it, too, because some of the smoke actually came into the into the food as I was eating it. I gotta figure out what these things are. Oh. They're just moist towelettes. Just light, if any, scent. So, wiping off utensils, wiping off hands or whatever. Uh, I would save these for wiping your butt. I wouldn't actually use them for, like, wiping off your hands. Um, that's what your uniform is for. Again, comparing it tactically to like US MREs or whatever, but I wouldn't have opened this up if I'd have known. I would have just stashed this in my gear for later because at, at least this is somewhat subdued to my environment. It's not like big and out in the open or whatever, so I'm just going to put these away. And these candies. This is somewhat subdued, but it is pretty loud. It's actually pretty loud, so uh, this probably wouldn't be something you'd want to put in your pocket, but again, this is probably a good opportunity for me to find out what this stuff is while I'm yakking away and you're watching this try to boil. So. Okay, this is gum. That's right. Zinka. Yep. So this is basically like your gum, so your dental care comes out of these. So, I mean, you could put this in your pack or whatever and keep it around or right after you do this like you're eating or whatever pop a few of those but I mean once it's open these things aren't exactly going to stay all that well closed I mean it probably wouldn't rustle around all that much but I mean that's like your substitute instead of brushing your teeth in the field so this is farge so this is a little bit of uh, just minced meat oh yeah it's kind of like a pate but you know, not really, but this is definitely where the crackers would come in handy. So this is where, you know, the crackers are nice and solid compared to MRE crackers. So they actually work good for cutting into this stuff. Not very much flavor. I mean, the little bit of flavor you do get, it's kind of like Spam, but not really the gross, you know, weird uh, flavor. So it's like a Spam that isn't gross. Imagine that. Okay, so this tablet is almost completely gone, but <clears throat> this didn't really have all that much fat in it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I think crackers would in this really well. But, yeah, there's just huge chunks of potatoes in here. And there's a good amount of meat. And other vegetables, but if you want this to be clean as possible, then don't heat it up. Uh, just deal with it, and really it wasn't all that bad cold. It really wasn't much difference. It was just a temperature difference. And these light crackers, um, they actually work pretty well with this too. Okay, so that's pretty much it uh, for the first part of this. I guess we'll check out the next meal. Okay, so the potatoes and beef, that was actually pretty good. So we'll move on to the next one. Got to get a new tab on here. So open this up a little bit. 
little bit of gap there. That's kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah, this is this actually does smell like spam. So, match here. So we'll see how well this does. All right. So I repositioned it slightly, like stuck it into the ground. So hopefully. This is not only going to catch, but at least, or, well, hopefully, it'll actually work a little better. Okay. So it seems like the surface is boiling a bit, so there we go. And, of course, it's going to smoke on me. And it stinks really bad. What? And now, while we're waiting for that to do what it's got to do which I guess we'll let it do its thing first. Oh yeah, that tastes bad. Some of the smoke went in my mouth. That was terrible. Okay, so I'll just open this up and see what it is. I don't know whether this is like fat or what, but there's like bread. Huh. Oh yeah, this is like the straight up fat, it looks like. That's interesting. You know, everybody else has seen, uh, seemed to be discouraged by the straight-up fat. But, again, the Russians seem to understand the value of having a lot of fat and not just, like, having whatever fake meat that we throw in our stuff. Yeah, that's kind of odd. Yeah, there's, like, chunks of meat in here. Yeah, it's just straight-up fat. It smells like all the rendered stuff that I have after making bacon. And it looks like a little bit of bacon fat right here. It's kind of odd. I think that would be a great additive to like the potatoes or whatever. That probably would have been a great additive for like a cooking oil, sort of, because of how dry it was at the bottom, as you guys saw. And this might be a little bit dry itself, so I could add a little bit of this to it and see how that renders out. Just like add it in. That way it has a little more fat in there. Probably adds to the flavor. But. <laughs> I must be a weirdo. Because I actually like this stuff straight up. There's no real flavor to it. It's just. It's just fat. So it's just a texture. And it's not really greasy. It's just. It's just fat. It's like eating bacon fat. It's really not much different. Good old fudge. Mince meat. Okay, so now we have the pate here. I'm going to guess this is just basically a pork pate, like a really simple one. And so, I do like pate. I will actually get it from my Eastern European store. It's kind of a lazy pate because there is some, like, a good amount of fat in there, so they didn't render it all off and make it nice and neat like the stuff you get from an Eastern European store. There's actually some gelatinous... Uh, consistency to it and again I want to stress that none of this stuff would really be good in the pocket like you have to deal with it you know as it is because there's not much of anything here that would go good in the pockets except maybe these but the packaging is semi hard on these but the problem is you're gonna break these if you lean on them or whatever they're not as hard as you'd like to think. And then not to mention all the trash. This would probably be the only tactically sound item in this whole thing. That would actually be something I would carry around with me. That isn't very much, is it? And maybe the, uh, the chocolate bar, but still, the wrapping, it's pretty loud. So, there's not that many good options. So, we're also going to get into the drink mix next, which I'll need to bring out my canteen cup for. Uh, they actually recommend that you use hot water for reconstituting these. And that's probably because they actually load up a good amount of sugar in their drinks. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this whole thing up in the canteen cup that I got here. And I'm not going to warm this up at all. I'm just going to see how it constitutes in the field. 
in field conditions because you're pretty much screwed when it comes to this stuff. Like, uh, you don't have any kind of beverage bag or anything. But, oh boy, yeah, they do have a good amount of uh, salt crystals in here. So this is mainly going to be sugar. So, yeah, I mean, that's straight up crystal. Like, wow. Doesn't smell like anything yet. Like usually the Emory beverage powders will have like a lot of artificial flavorings and stuff like that. I'm guessing this is just going to be very sugary. And I'm not going to use that much water, but enough, enough to get the flavor out. Because I'm mostly a flavor guy when I add drink mixes. I'm not really much of a. Uh, uh, quantity person. I just want the flavor. And this really does need help. Because you can see the little crystals floating in there. and It's just not that pretty. <laughs> so, okay, that's really not all that great. I mean, yeah, you kind of do need help. I'm guessing there's a good reason why they want it reconstituted with uh, warm water. I mean, Whatever is going to reconstitute has reconstituted. I don't know if you're able to see that on the camera, but there's still a lot of stuff on the bottom. I don't know if it focused for you, but there's really not much flavor to that. It's a berry of some sort, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty uh, disappointing. Okay, so now I guess we'll try this apple and cherry or whatever and I'm gonna put in less water this time so same story almost the same color and add in a little bit of water and I'm gonna try to maximize the flavor and anticipating that it's not gonna have much of any flavor so that should do it you've got dark chunks in here and those are the ones that are supposed to reconstitute in the water, I'm assuming. So, yeah. But what I could do, is I could always add some sugar to it. Oh, yeah. Some straight up sugar crystals. It's not like the powder that you get in the MREs or the, the finer crystals. Like, these are actual good size. I mean, this looks like salt. This actually just looks like straight up salt. So, if you didn't know Russian, you'd think that this was just a lot of salt. Okay, that has a little bit more flavor to it. A good amount of cherry, not much apple flavor. But that's probably because it hasn't fully constituted or reconstituted, I guess you could say. So I'm going to put some sugar in here. See how that helps, if at all. Okay, that kind of helped the cherry come out even more. As you can see there, there's a lot of floating sugar. That is ridiculous. This is going to be pretty tactically unsound too. Because when I wash this out, I've got to wash it out to get all the sugar out. But wherever I dump it, insects are going to be attracted to it. So if you're being tracked or whatever, that's going to be a problem. So, you know, that's just uh, tactically thinking. Oh boy, look at all this. Oh yeah, so that's a good amount of meat. Oh yeah, that's a lot of meat. And very fatty. It's kind of like a... Well, it's kind of like a stew. The meat's pretty good in there. It's straight up meat. And you can see where I spilled some of it earlier here. That is a problem. Would need to be covered up, especially around here. You have a lot of animals. And I like, one, one thing I do like about these, like if you're eating in the rear, is on a cold day like this, this metal does cool down pretty quickly. So you're not going to burn yourself by grabbing the sides. May not cool down as easily in the summertime, but coming up on winter, it's really nice. And this is good chunks of meat in here, so this is actually pretty pleasing. But yeah, it takes a good amount of time to eat this stuff. 
or heat it. I mean, this would be a lot of good fat, so if you wanted to, you could actually just cool this off, and you could just let all the fat cool down and solidify, and then you basically have this stuff again. And speaking of which, I'll just finish off my pate, but this is what I was talking about. It's kind of gelatinous underneath. Yeah. That's pretty much it for this. I'll just finish this off and throw on this next one. I'm going to need a new uh, heating tab so I can cook this up. As you can see, the tablet is going pretty well. So, looks like we got some rice and something else in here, though. So looks like a, a rice stew almost. Uh, this isn't fitting all that well. Yeah. Ooh, side to side, there we go. So I'm going to try not to mess with this too much. Because this thing is really going. Uh, and I'm just going to do this last drink mix. I found myself still wanting. But it looks like this will actually work well with the salt and pepper. And I'm just going to quickly, you know, take out, you know, this vegetable whatever. And the minced meat. Now as far as the cheese is concerned, I'm going to work on that too. But I'm not just going to you know, show me stuff in my face. But I also have some fat left here. Now, I like that stuff, so I might be able to use it with the crackers. It's a pretty good proportion of crackers, and it does take a while to eat. Uh, they're really big on giving a bread ration, uh, obviously for carbs and stuff in the field. But I do like that they also give water purification tablets. Now, I don't know if these are safe for your thyroid, um, because that's actually one thing that you can have is a problem with uh, it giving you problems with your thyroid because uh, some of the iodine tablets or whatever uh, so that's something to keep in mind I also have another thing of sugar here so I'm gonna actually add like half of this thing to oh, I hate how much trash there is I'll add about half of this thing here to this one berry one because I, I put in well, actually I'm just using the whole thing well I added in like half the water I did last time and I'm trying to reconstitute it and see if I can actually get a flavor out of it. But one thing I really do not like is the fact that there is so much trash. There's so much little trash here. And obviously, I'm not going to make the teas. I, I'll, uh, I'll put in here. I'll, I'll put in here how I liked it. But I'll, I'll try these later and just insert that. And the coffee, I've been waiting to see what Russian coffee is like and in comparison to our, like, taster's choice. So I'll put that, I'll annotate that below. So one thing that I didn't show you guys was the creamer here. I just actually dumped it into my fat because I'm going to eat it later. But you can see how it's all, like, crystally and stuff like that. It actually breaks up quite nicely. And it kind of has a little bit of a dairy flavor, but it, it it's almost like candy, how it'll actually flake apart. It's not like a powder, so it might be actual, like, dairy uh, creamer, but you just can't really tell. But kind of adds a little flavor and a crunch to my fat, so whatever. I think I'm the only one on YouTube who has ever just, like, straight-up spooned this stuff. Whatever. I know the value of fat. You gotta love fat. It's what keeps you going out in the field. So anyways... I'm going to enjoy the rest of this stuff, and I'll get back to you when this stuff is actually ready. It's not ready just yet. And before I forget, since I'm almost done with everything else, I forgot to kind of see how this drink mix ends up. I poured the whole packet of sugar in here. Still a little bit of floating around. But it looks like it's whatever it's going to reconstitute will, has reconstituted. Now again... They typically recommend, like, boiled water or something like that to actually get the sugar to reconstitute, so we'll see. Yeah, that's a really odd berry flavor. Uh, it's not really all that great, but I still have a lot of sugar at the bottom there, as you can see. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's <laughs> is what it is, but that's a lot of sugar. Again, the tactical issue is <clears throat> you try to add in some sugar here. It better be, be well constituted or reconstituted because you're not just throwing this canteen cup away. You're washing it off somewhere and then putting it away because you might want to make up some tea or some coffee or whatever. So this rice doesn't really seem like it's wanting to 
reduced down much. I mean, there's not much left of this heating tablet at all. And it's not stuck to the bottom or anything, but... Yeah, I don't know if this could have used some fat or something, but... I mean, you're able to slice into it like it's a piece of meat or whatever. So, I, I think that's what I'm going to be relegated to. I would say that's like the most disappointing thing I've had so far. I mean, yeah, it's rice. Yeah, it's uh, rice with like some vegetables or whatever. But, and again, making more of a tactical mess here. Um, there's really nothing to it. There's just nothing here. And so... I guess I'll just have to add a little bit of fat and hopefully the temperature is good enough to where it can melt it and actually make this somewhat liquid because this is really not. This is pretty solid. It's, again, disappointing is the word that comes to mind. I was kind of hoping that it would have some fat in there that when I actually heated it up it would actually be pleasant, but it's just basically like a bunch of sticky rice that doesn't want to come apart. I mean, the flavor's not bad because there really is no flavor. I mean, you can see I basically burnt the outside edges. And that's why this edge is, like, all brown in it and stuff. Because I basically burnt the rice on the sides uh, because I just had it on there. I didn't feel like I needed to stir it up because it wasn't, you know, reducing down or anything. There was no evidence that it needed it. It was just dry rice and stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. This stuff is really hot. Um, but it's just coming out as solid chunks of rice. So, yeah, I'm not even really too impressed with that. And the fat that I put in here, I think it's just helping it get burnt on the bottom. So, yeah, I'll just take this off. Overall, this was actually quite a disappointment. This rice and vegetables pretty big disappointment only because when you heated it up the texture never changed it was still just a solid clump so you'd probably just be better off just eating it cold um on the good side since there's a lack of liquids you could probably could have gotten away with like just pocketing this and and obviously like a spoon or something and eating it cold i mean i was going to use the salt and pepper on this but i don't really see how it's going to help it any but there's the salt. That's, that's all the salt. And this is really fragile, like paper. And wow, that black pepper is coming out really fine. At least they give you pepper in, in their MREs here, but... <coughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's a really fine pepper. It's like going into the air and stuff. Wow. Oh. That's pretty aggressive. Okay. So I'll see... If that helps it any, I kind of doubt it, but whatever. Nope. Not really. You're just getting a lot of pepper in there and a little bit of salt. A lot of salt, actually. Very salty. But aside from that, it's very bland. It's just a bunch of cooked rice and salt and pepper. So it really doesn't bring out any flavor. There's nothing really to be brought out. It's just disappointing. Now notice here, I guess I'll just move that out of the way. Um, I still have crackers and I have a good amount of cheese left. Um, this cheese, it's not bad. I would not, I wouldn't say that this would be a bad thing to throw in your pocket with like a thing of crackers, but Again, these packets uh, are very likely to uh, explode, for lack of a better word. So if you smash them up against something, they go bye-bye. Uh, they open up. You smash this up against something, it busts apart. It crumbles. And once you lose the initial integrity of the crackers, that's it. That's pretty much it. This stuff, definitely because of it, it being so liquidy, uh, you definitely don't want to take this stuff with you. I like this stuff. This is like the vodka sauce of the meal. But maybe something like the minced meat, even though I do not care for these packages because of 
how easily they're crushed. Uh, the ration themselves itself does not lend itself to being used like American MREs, where it's crush-proof, basically. Almost everything can be crushed and dropped in a pallet from, like, a thousand feet or something and still survive. So, I mean, this is all the leftover stuff that I'm just not going to deal with. Like, I don't need the moist pallets except to wipe my butt, so I guess I could keep those around in case I need them on, like, a camping trip or whatever. But the sugar? Don't really use straight-up sugar all that much. Water purification tablets? Eh, I use those every now and then, so I guess I can cannibalize those for later or whatever. These matches, I can just, you know, go through them now. It's not really going to do anything. They're just basically storm matches, and they're actually pretty reliable, so I, I do like how easy they are to strike. I mean, it doesn't take much to get them to go off, and they stay lit for a long time, at least... You know, the chain lighting, anyways. So, just playing with these a little bit. So, the other thing is, when you're done with this, it does cool down pretty quickly. So, you basically would flatten this out and throw it back in. But, overall, I mean, this ration is not something that I would, you know, take into combat with me if I had a choice, but... Not everybody gets a choice when they're in the military, so you got to do the best you can with what you got. But that's why I do these ration reviews in the field. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know what you think in the comments below, and you guys have a good one.